This is an updated video version of the instructions for the Invention Incarnate Polstering Igniter Kit available at inventionincarnate.com. A printed copy of these instructions is included in my kits in the event of a grid down scenario or radical censorship. For the 80% of you on smartphones, I'll be peppering in some QR codes throughout this video, which are links. Screenshot them and they'll save to your camera roll. Later, go back into your photos and just press the button automatically generated by your phone. Both convenient and horrifying, I know. It is best to use this kit in small groups of 5 to 10 igniters at a time, unless you have a plan for the devices for which they'll be used for. In other words, save the dry chemicals because there are many ways to use this kit that you may not yet know. I take the mass needed for 50 pull igniters, then I double it so you have extra for alternative devices. If all the chemicals are prepared at once, you'll be left with a lot of leftover composition that could dry out in storage. If you are planning to use this kit for rearming fuses, that's fuses with a Z, you'll want to use nitrocellulose lacquer as a binder. I have detailed printable instructions for this process on my website for three bucks. Follow all state, local, and federal laws and do not use these techniques to make destructive devices. Instructions begin now. We start by squishing the suspicious looking potassium chlorate in the white bag to break up any clumps. Then we dump the bag into the ignition mix container and gently shake the crap out of it. Be careful because now this mix is live and although it won't explode, if we are stupid it could ignite. Be particularly careful with the threads on the container. Adding Teflon tape is a good idea. I've made hundreds of these without any problems, however academically it could ignite from the friction on the threads. Now we thread the satin cord through the center of the ignition cups using an upholstery needle. Using a penetrable backer helps the process significantly. This could be a squishy silicone mat or a block of wood with a small hole drilled into it. We want to space the cups 4 to 8 inches apart. I use the needle to push the edges of the hole back in towards the thread to hold the cup in place. Now we are going to take some of our ignition powder and put it into the silicone mixing cup. We will add the clear PVA glue to make the mixture a pancake batter consistency. I prefer to load the composition into a dental syringe, banking the composition on the side of the syringe. This allows air to escape when pressing the plunger. We load the ignition cups, being sure to load it circumferentially around the string. I like to fill the cups, then suck it back out, leaving the walls of the cup coated. When dried, we only want the cups filled 30 to 40%. This composition will also shrink considerably when the water evaporates out of the PVA glue. We hang to dry with the cup facing upwards. Okay, now that's magically dried. We cut the satin cord creating individual cups with approximately 5 eighths of an inch of cord projecting from each cup. Then we mix some of the striker composition creating a consistency slightly thinner than pancake batter. We coat the ends of the cord with this striker mixture via paintbrush or dowel or by dipping it if you want. We allow it to dry. At this point we have completed ignition cups. This can be used for a multitude of things you will find throughout my channel. I usually have five of these on standby. They can function independently or they can be installed into a tube to create an igniter assembly as I'll show you now. We cut a piece of cardboard tube to approximately one and a quarter inches, then guide the string from one ignition cup through, then push the cup through the tube. Use a Q-tip for this, not a flathead screwdriver. Ask me how I learned that. We use CA glue or something similar. I'm using a UV activated glue here because I just got it on Amazon and want to play with it. However, CA glue with a viscosity of thick or gel is probably better. I recommend 2P10. Be sure not to get any glue on the polstering section. The remaining steps are optional. I like to coat the igniter tubes with thin CA glue to improve durability. Capillary action does most of the work. Epoxy also works well. I also use 1 16th inch heat shrink tubing on the pull string for increased abrasion resistance and to add stiffness to the pull ring. Use a heat gun instead of an open flame for obvious reasons. I like to use half inch electrical conduit lock nuts because they look cooler than key rings. Key rings do, however, have their use when making igniters with safety pins as you will see shortly. I use crimp rings to make the loop securing the lock nut because it is compact and more professional looking than some ghetto ass knot though sometimes knots are more effective if you are making compact devices such as the M18 Safe Smoke linked here. This is one design for a safety pull igniter. Here's a preview so you have an idea of where I'm going with this. We cut a length of cardboard in the same manner as before, perhaps a little bit longer like an inch and a half or so. Then we insert an ignition cup approximately halfway up the tube with a Q-tip. 
We then punch a hole to accommodate a grommet. I got this crappy punch and grommet crimp at Home Depot, and I wouldn't recommend it, but in the words of my dear friend Pedro, mejor que nada. Once the grommet is installed, we definitely want to coat this tube in thin CA glue or epoxy. It is important that the grommet is strongly held in place. Now we do not add heat shrink, but rather tie the knot string, tie the string, 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 shrimp, spring roll. This time we do not add heat shrink, but rather tie the string snugly with a constrictor hitch or a fishing knot alternative. I drip thin CA glue to keep that naughty knot from being a thought that's hot to trot. <laughs> Then we split the key ring and slide it over the grommet. We can then use a hitch pin or a cotter pin to fashion a safety. Now that we did all that work, let's destroy it with a demonstration. Okay, goodbye, I love you. <laughs>